Boy, oh boy, it's early as hell. But don't I got something to tell y'all? Look, it's about that time. Kill I Kill If News is on the way and what's happening. Before I go any further into the Kill I Kill If News, off rip, join my Discord. It's a place where I play games, talk to with the various couple people. You can talk to me on one-on-one -on -one if you ask. I can put you in a private session. And I will be having tournaments on this channel soon, giving away prizes and such. Just come through, have fun. You want to talk to me, just at me and I'll always be able to try to come to talk to you. I am that person. I love my people and I love y'all and everybody deserves attention in their life. Well, enough of all that though. Back on Kill I Kill If. Kill I Kill If will launch for PlayStation 4, Switch, and PC in Japan on July 25th, 2019. That is freaking astounding. Now, one thing that bothers me is... PlayStation 4, Switch, and PC all on July 25th. I'm okay with that, and I'm annoyed by it at the same time, because I'm like, usually when games release on PC, that means it's coming to, like, Steam, right? Um, so that doesn't that mean the game will also be coming out in English on July 25th at the same time? But then again, you know, there's a thing called localization. For people that don't know localization, it's about, like, putting the game in other languages and having a time frame for it to come out and stuff. Uh, it's a lot more technical than that. I don't have time to really explain that. But legit, you know that we may get this game in a couple days or maybe months after. Let me explain this gap. With a lot of games like localization that's not really too big or too popular, prime example, an anime game like Naruto and Dragon Ball Z will most likely come out so close and faster in like one week or a couple day release dates compared to Kill Like Yeah, this is, is its first game. So localization for it could take up to, I don't know, um, three months at maximum. Sometimes for games, it takes like six months a year. Like, it's, remember in the past how long it took for like certain games to release for us, bro? It was kind of crazy. It was kind of crazy. Now, in 2019, gaming industries and companies have gotten better at localization releasing games at a better time frame and speed so hopefully we don't have to wait that long my prediction for the english release date is kill i kill if will most likely be out by like august 25th a month later if not earliest september if that's the case i'm probably just gonna bite the bullet and buy the japanese version to give my homies the avatar game coverage y'all already know how i'm rocking out here i gotta do it for the squad i don't mind buying two copies of kill i kill if because that is my favorite anime of all time I'm going to chill out. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is uh, what the article states. And this is from Gamatsu, but this is also from um, the little event that happened early in this morning on the 15th of uh, March. So let me break this down to you. He says, we will exhibit the latest version of battle action game Kill I Kill If, which will be released on July 25th, 2019. The newly added Ryoko Mato Dual Wield and Sasuke Kirin Dual Wield will also be playable, so be sure to give it a try. So this confirms another thing before I even go any further though, that Kill I Kill will get um, another event later this month on March 23rd, and it's supposed to be at the Toshi Nazai 2018-2019 uh, press release for Arctic Stone Works announcing its lineup. That's where they announce a lot of games. And that's from March 23rd. So I guess in the 25th, the website said 23rd to 23rd. Unless it's a one day thing, but whatever. Um, legit, this confirms that we will finally get Dual Will Ryoko gameplay and Dual Will Sasuke gameplay. I'm really excited about that. Uh, I'm going to just bite the gun and say we're getting a huge character reveal at this point. And who do I think the character reveals are? We already got the elite class. We already got the main characters. We already got freaking, um, you know, the mother Ragio. We already got a uh, new Harmy. I think at this point, the characters they're going to add are some more of like the fan favorite like characters. And I strongly believe that Mako is on her way. If it's not Mako, it's another nudist beach character. One, maybe one of the more prominent ones. It's like two nudist beach characters that strike out. Can't remember his name, it's been a minute. I'm about to put this Kill I Kill rewatch on after this video. So keep that in mind. Yeah, I'm really excited for this game. I pray that the game is pretty good and I hope it has at least a rematch button. 
and I could possibly invite my friends or something like that, please let me have those functions. Because I'm tired, like, I'm, I'm drained out of anime games, to keep it real with you. And Kill I Kill is, is the last hope. I got a video coming soon with my boy, The Coded Prophecy. So hear me out on that, and we'll be talking about why Kill I Kill if is important. But if you want to subscribe for more content on this channel, follow me on Twitter first at AvatarYaiTV to get quick updates and notices on when I release new videos and content. And number two, this channel is pretty much a fighting game and anime games channel and i do a little bit of final fantasy here and there when it's time for it but legit i just want you guys to know you guys are golden and that is raw squala peace